and welcome to the first video of the term. I'm just going to revamp the SQL Server installation video, uh, seeing as the one that I previously had on there is about a year old. Uh, I want to get you up to date using the current version of SQL Server uh, Express 2016. If you followed the previous instructions and installed 2014 instead, that's fine. You can use 2014. It won't affect anything in this class. Uh, so just continue uh, along with what you're doing. Uh, this is just the more up-to-date version. Uh, there's not a significant difference in the features that we'll be dealing with. Uh, a couple of differences in the icons, but I'll be able to help you get through those. Okay, so first things first, I am in the... Let me turn off edit mode. I'm in the weekly content folder. I'm going into week one down to end of week tasks and you can see there's the installation and setup instruction and later on in the term if you're looking for the installation instructions there's another copy over here in content categories under installation and setup instructions go figure so the same instructions can be found here I'm just gonna open them directly from blackboard so we can have a look at them and we can follow the instructions together uh, because the link isn't typed out here for you all you have to do is click on the link in the PDF and it'll bring you to the download page. I will not give them any feedback at this time. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna hit download now, and I'm gonna get just a quick downloader. It's about 5.1 megabytes. You might have a different size at this point. I'll save it to my downloads folder, which I clear out from time to time. And then I'm gonna run it. But we are going to, uh, again, I'm just gonna go back to the instructions so you know what you're seeing here. Um, we're going to download that and choose a basic installation. Uh, then we're just going to go through the defaults here. When the installation's done, we're going to install the Management Studio as well. And everything's done. Once we're ready, we can just go through a couple of minor things on Windows just to get things up and running. Uh, so yes, refer back to this document if need be, but the video should uh, help you get through it all. We're going to hit basic. And we're going to go through and check out everything that's said here. I've read it before, so I'm just going to accept. You're going to set an install location. I want you guys to just um, take the default location. I use a solid state drive, so I like to keep most of my install stuff on a separate data drive, which is what I'm going to do here. So you do not have to change that address um, unless, of course, you have a solid state drive, in which case you should know which drive you want to install your programs on. Okay, so the installation's done. So I'm going to click Install SQL Server Management Studio. Um, you'll notice you're taken to the download site, and we want to download SQL Server Management Studio 17.2. So my browser opened up here. We're going to hit the 17.2. Um, let's not do the upgrade package at this time. I'm just going to save that to my downloads folder as well. So what we just installed was the SQL Server. So if you remember, I said there's a client and server relationship here. Um, so we installed SQL Server. We have that running on our machine. And now we have um, SQL Server Management Studio we're going to install so that uh, we have a client to communicate with the backend. Okay, and we're all downloaded. I'm just going to, again, um, on Firefox before I had a down arrow here, I had to click to get to my downloads. I am going to be clicking the download over here for Chrome. Um, you probably don't see it on your screen, but I was asked to confirm that I want to uh, run the software, so you might have to tell your computer that that's just fine. Go for it. Um, to continue, I just have to click the install button. Okay, now um, a, I'm being asked to restart the computer to finish up. I'm going to do that, and I will be right back with you. All right, and I'm back, and on Windows 10 with a clean restart, if I were to just click the Windows icon after, uh, right after installing SQL Server, uh, I can find SQL Server Management Studio 17 right here. However, um, if you don't find it there, we can type in SQL Server Management, and you'll notice that it comes up as a best match. 
we can now right click and pin it to our start menu which puts it in this area over here okay and I believe yes so if we right click on a start menu tile we can go to this more sub option and click pin to taskbar and now we also have quick reference to it here on our taskbar so if you're at home that'll be pretty useful to you this term um, when you're ready to get rid of it all you have to do is right click unpin from taskbar and by get rid of it I just mean take the icon off of the, the uh, toolbar it doesn't uh, permanently remove the program alright so it's pinned to taskbar and of course you can drag it along here set it wherever you feel most comfortable with it for now I'm just gonna leave it as is and let's have a little explore into how uh, SQL Server Management Studio will work for us.